Hello, warm greetings to you all wherever you are in the world. I hope you're all staying well, staying safe with yourselves and your families. Anyways, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As usual, my name is Olua Kenya Sege. Yes, you, you're not seeing my face now just because I've just set the camera to begin work on a cake. My youngest child turned 10 years on Wednesday and he's asked for a space rocket cake. I haven't done one before, so I'm about to get started to do this space rocket cake. I hope I get it right. If I don't get it right, yeah, well, it will be a learning process for me, given that it is my son's birthday, so nobody's going to hold me to it, <laughs> apart from him. Anyways, uh, that's the cake I have baked. He said he wanted a good enough flavor, these are coconut flavored cakes. I've got uh, in this pile um, two layers of um, eight inches round. I've got two layers of seven inches round. I've got two layers of six inches round. And I've got one um, four inch round cake here. I'm not sure how I'm going to start them up yet, but uh, let's see how we get along. So follow me as we go. I'm first of all going to begin the torting of these cakes into two layers each and then we'll take it from there here i begin to level my cakes that is trimming off the top of the cake layers i then proceeded to torting the cakes that is cutting them into two layers each. I then proceeded to stack in my cake layers, filling each layer with buttercream and ensuring that the cake layers are sturdy and stable. And at a point, I inserted cake dowels and a cake card after about four layers. This is to ensure stability for the entire cake structure. I've been the Lord of Let we all now proclaim Here I inserted a single cake dower into the center of the cake again to secure the cake and make it stable especially while scarving I then proceeded to carving the cake, trimming off and trying to create the shape of a space rocket. Looking at the picture on Google, which I saved on Google. At this stage, I proceeded to icing the cake with white chocolate ganache, applying the first layer. I then proceeded to applying the second coat of white chocolate ganache and smoothing it out as best as I can. At this stage, I measured the entire circumference of my cake for want of a use of a better word, I then proceeded to roll in out grey coloured fondant to cover the entire cake. I then applied this fondant onto my cake using um, water soaked clean kitchen paper towel.
I then proceeded to rolling out red colored fondant to cover the tip of the rocket. Here I used the smallest of my circle cutter sets. I think this is about 1.5 inches in circumference to cut out two circles on the body of the cake, which I am going to place a blue colored uh, other, another, uh, circle of the same size in. This would create the impression of a window or some sort of window on the rocket. I then proceeded to cut out strips using my medium size strip cutter. This is will this will be used to create a border around the newly created circle windows on the space rocket. I then proceeded to create the wings on the side of the space rocket. I'm not sure it's called the wings, but I'm going to call it wings for the purpose of this video. I created this by using red colored gum paste. I'm using gum paste for this purpose because I want it to harden up a bit for it to stand up straight as I insert it into the space rocket. So I am creating it now, I'm inserting um, short wires inside. This will be used to connect it or insert it into the cake and then I'm setting them aside for it to harden up a bit. I've created four of these wings. <laughs> I proceeded to decorating the or designing the space rocket as best as I can. At this stage, I am now using a strip cutter to create or to cut out a strip, a long strip band to place at the um, but towards the bottom of the space rocket. At this stage, using a circle pointed piping tip, I created tiny, tiny holes or dots around the borders of the two circular windows on the trumpet, I mean, sorry, on the space rocket, and also on the band towards the bottom of the um, space rocket. This is to create the effect of a metal or a nail, nail slots.
or dots in between. I'm not sure of a better way to explain that. I then proceeded to cover the cake drum using orange colored fondant and some red patches. Using silver edible luster dust mixed with alcohol, that is vodka, I, I painted um, the metal sides of the rocket, that is the uh, a metal band towards the end of the rocket and also the, ba the boundaries around the two circular windows and the top of the cake. This is to create the effect of a metal finish. I then proceeded to inserting my already created four wings, finishing off the cake. And that's my space rocket cake. Thank you for watching. Please do like if you like what we've created and leave a comment. Thank you. Do not forget to subscribe. Thank you. Bye for now. Bye.